What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies and we're checking out one of the long lost, I guess you could say, conversion kits that I really just didn't use, which is the Jack Raven kit for the MCW. Now there's a few conversion kits I think I skipped over because we just didn't cover each and every one of them initially. And now we've made it a point to kind of use these in some of our runs. So if there is one that I didn't cover previously that you guys would like me to cover, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. But today we are using that Jack Raven conversion kit. And of course, this thing is basically making it an SMG. It's going to kind of increase our mobility, increase our fire rate, pretty much increase our damage at close range. Anything that you could think would benefit it, obviously, as far as an SMG, it's pretty much going to benefit this specific build. Now, the one thing that is a negative is going to be the bullet velocity, which isn't really a huge deal, especially if you're planning on using it like an SMG. So we're going to be checking it out today, seeing exactly how good it is. And I anticipate it's going to be significantly better than just the regular MCW. The one negative, however, is the max magazine that we can equip in its current state is going to be 40. So it'll be interesting to see if it packs enough of a punch to kind of make up for the lack of ammo that it's going to have. And it kind of seems like, you know, maybe the ammo reserve will at least be decent enough for the, the weapon that we're using, considering we do have a 280 currently. But first things first, I do need to pop all of my perks that I wanted to use. I brought a few, give us some sort of benefit going into the run, right? And I did bring a dead wire. We'll make sure to pop that too. And you know what? We're at our first contract here. Easy peasy. I think it's pretty well known at this point that the most dominant weapon class in the game for zombies is definitely the SMGs. So I have pretty high hopes for this, and I think we should be fairly successful in our journey, but I guess we're going to have to see exactly what happens. All right, we're looking good so far. Big hurdle here as we move through our bullets pretty quick. Yes, throw. that actually works out in my favor. Normally I don't want to be thrown, but it doesn't bother me when it helps me get away from them. And slide from him. Boom. We get through him before we run out of ammo. I'm trying to maximize our... Oh, I'm stuck. Couldn't even climb right there for a second. I'm trying to maximize our damage range. If we go too far away, obviously, we're not going to do full damage. Good. Solid. We got to pack one crystal. Too bad I brought one in. Let's see. One bullet does quite a bit. It doesn't one-shot the, the zombies, but it's close. So two bullets, you could definitely kill a zombie. That's that's actually good to know. Definitely strong up to this point. It's kind of interesting. When you think of any of the high fire rate weapons, they're almost all guaranteed to be pretty solid in zombies. The tough part, though, is can you actually keep up with the amount of ammo that you use? I do want to see exactly what our max ammo is here. I don't know if the 280, I think, is what we had before in our reserve was max. Nope. 320, I mean, that's not bad. The fire rate is pretty quick, though, so I don't know if it's going to be enough. All right. Let him shoot his, his crap. Yep, zombies are all coming in for the pinch. Where's he going? Is he going out a different door? Uh-oh, watch out. The knight's coming. Get away from the knight. Get around the... There we go. Phew! That guy always comes when you least expect it, and it's never good. All right, we're perfect here. With him chasing us, it's, like, ideal. I don't know what the ultimate, like, best damage range is for this thing. Oh, come on. But it's obviously pretty close because of the obvious uh, SMG conversion here. We do need to keep that in mind, especially when we go for the Mega Bombs later. Sometimes people do mention in the comment section that maybe I'm too far out of range for some of the battles, but realistically, you just want to be safe with your engagements. You have to put yourself in that much danger. I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, time to go pack a punch level one. Now you guys are going to be excited. I remembered the camo again. It's back to back. Might actually get more in the habit of it. We maybe won't forget ever. It kind of does depend though. If I'm like way out of the way, it's not, I don't know, it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to, to do that. But come on out, buddy. Come on out, buddy. We do want to remain somewhat close to him. But I also don't want to be putting myself in a weird scenario. This thing's cooking the zombies, though. If I, fire rate's crazy. Fire rate's crazy. What just happened? What? All right. Well, I'm still confused what destroyed this man. This mimic's not a man. It's a mimic. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened with our last bounty, but we're going to try this again. Pack one bounty. Now we have an 80 rounder, which is great. Matter of fact, we might even yep, take him out before we have to reload. I didn't see what the max ammo was because I just wasn't paying enough attention. Well, we absolutely destroyed that guy. Time to go to the tier two zone. Hopefully this time 
We won't have too much trouble. We should actually probably slam whatever the heck's in our path. I will I will mention this is probably a really good gun to use the MAGA holding with, especially up to this point. We will see if it continues throughout the run. I'm hoping that this isn't one of those weapons that needs to be pack three legendary in order to find success in the tier three zone. And hoping we'll still be able to, you know, have good luck, at least rare. Pack one blue is a true test, though. So we'll see what our first tier two bounty has in store. All right, we got some good news. We got a mangler for our first one, not a disciple. And we have four, 480. That must be our max. Maybe our reserve doesn't change much for this one. Okay, go ahead and reload since he's doing that. I could shoot him in the hand. I, I can't really tell if we're damaging him enough. I feel like I would have done more damage shooting him in the head. Yeah, 100%. Look at that. Couldn't even tell I did damage to his hand, so might as well just shoot him in the head. Oh, he did it. He decided to do it again. Oh, the pole got in my way. Alright, we're looking pretty good, actually. Deadwire the zombie. Go ahead and use our one plate. Man, we should be good. Look at that. Boom! Not bad. I mean, as far as an aftermarket part or... I guess a conversion kit is concerned, this thing's doing pretty good. It's holding its own. Much better than many of the others we have used in the past. Especially, like, the most recent one, if you guys remember that one. Oh, man. Alright, we kind of got blessed here. We got ourselves a Disciple for the second one, so we are still pack one blue. I do not have any extra plates, though. That's kind of sucks. Well, hopefully we'll be able to take this guy on pretty easy. Just keep spamming. We're actually looking pretty good here. This is working really effectively for this weapon for some reason. Part of it's the reload, or not the reload speed. The uh, rate of fire. Look at that. Holy smokes, we torched that. This is pack one blue, by the way. This, this weapon is 100% a W, and I very much so recommend using it. Part of the reason I knew this would be somewhat decent, at least currently, is because people have been trying it out in Warzone. Sometimes those things do line up, so do keep that in mind. Do absolutely keep that in mind. All right, for this one, I need to do pack two blue, just so we can see how we do. Where's our pack two? Pack two. Backpack's full of junk. Hopefully this thing just cooks. I think it's going to fry. I mean, we, we did pretty good with the first one. I'm actually going to... Oh, I was going to let him keep hitting me, but I don't have any backup plates still. Hold on. Got to play smart. Smarter than I wanted to. Okay, we'll go ahead and reload again. If I keep letting him hit me, he's going to destroy me. All right, we're good. Easy. Hold on to a napalm burst, because that actually might be useful. This... I don't need a hundred of these. I also don't need this turret circuit. I know some people might like those. I don't really need it. Not a requirement for me. There's a buy station. And we got some backup plates. Let's go. We're looking pretty good. Um, let me check out where the Stormcaller is. Stormcaller is in this zone. I might try to take it on. All right, we're going to give this Stormcaller a bit of a shot here. Now, if you've been watching the videos lately, it's been very hit or miss on the Stormcaller fights. Um, last one, he pretty much completely regened health, which I thought was fairly strange. Uh, I'm going to try to get to an angle where these guys can't hit me. I'm going to go ahead and throw this here. Where's our Stormcaller? Is he staying within the area? Kind of hoping he does. Okay. Oh, should be able to take these guys out pretty quick. Hoping they drop enough ammo for us to keep up with it. Just kind of want to limit the number of zombies we have. Oh, we're looking great on ammo. I don't want to grab the insta-kill. Insta-kill will just deplete it. We know that'll work. Oh, here we go. Go ahead and throw that down. Oh, he actually got hit by it. Nice. Okay, go ahead and reload. I think these, I think these mercs are still trying to hit me from where, where they are. Bro, where are you going? Kind of need you to stay where you're at. It's going to be much harder to do this if you don't 
Just let me hit you. That one's like super juiced. Okay, we might actually have to make a visit to the whatchamacallit and come back. The ammo reserve place. Which kind of depends. I mean, we're doing good damage, but we don't have enough ammo. Oh, he got. Come on, break it. We're actually doing damage to him, though. And I can't even get really close to him like I want to be. Alright, we're out of ammo. Let me, let me go to the ammo spot and come back. He's not going to chase me, and he'll probably, hopefully, won't get his his uh, health back. Alright, we're back. There's our, there's our guy. Hopefully, he didn't get his health back. He did not get his health back yet. He could still potentially do that. Go ahead and hit every bullet. Come on. Okay, go ahead and reload. Oh, there's a plate. Nice. If I can get him to not do his ability on me, which is what he's going to keep doing, I'd be in way better shape. Oh, this is a perfect spot for for a second here. Try to fight the zombies. This might be a little bit too hard with, with uh, how small the mag is. I think that's the biggest problem we're running into. Where'd he go? I don't even see him. Oh, he's zooming around. I see him now. Like, we got... We can probably disable it. But we can't... We can't do enough damage consistently. Like, he'll... He'll do the ability again. Okay, I got rid of that one. It's gonna run this way a little bit. We're gonna get... Oh, we're gonna run out of ammo again. Yeah, I think this might be just too much... Too much ammo. Damage? 100% we could. I'm gonna go ahead and say nah, because I don't want to waste too much time on it. We'd have to come back with like a MAGA holding build and see if we could pull it off, but... I think with this... Too much ammo too quickly. Another one of those high fire rate issues that you come across with some of these weapons, even if they are insanely strong. Okay, we're finally here. We're about to get Pack-A-Punch level 3. Let's get it. We are hooked up. Now this is weird because I kind of feel like this is one of those weapons where the ammo reserve didn't quite increase the way I expected it would. And it has so far already been a little bit of a problem. We found that with the Stormcaller, which, to be fair, the Stormcaller is a bit of a challenge, so it can be an exception to the rule. But I did feel like we kind of ran out of ammo a little quickly there, even after recovering ammo from the ammo reserve at least once. So I'll be interested to see how we can kind of perform here with Pack 3. We're going to start off with a Mega Abomination. I do want to see exactly how we do with that, again, based on the ammo reserve. Hopefully we don't have a situation where we're just constantly out of ammo. I feel like some of these really strong weapons, it could just be more beneficial if we just didn't have these ammo issues so often. And sometimes you get really lucky and you constantly get the ammo drops you need and it doesn't feel like you ever run out of ammo, but it's not always the case. But now we are pack three. We are, what is it, uh, blue still. I do want to switch to napalm because it is going to be more beneficial for our mega abomination fight here. Okay. But we're definitely going to move through bullets quickly here, so... Hope... Hopefully we can get some drops on it. I kind of need to get this guy to follow us. Come on. And I don't want him to be like a million miles away either, because we're not going to do good damage. I think he's finally coming this way? Oh, he is. No, he's not. Now he is. Alright, I'm going to get over to this building. Maybe I might have to actually try to take advantage of this real quick. Bro, you shouldn't hit me three times and break my armor plates every time. Stop. I'm getting hit by the freaking laser ability, so should you. That one zombie was trying to sell. Okay. We already destroyed two faces? That seems crazy. That actually seems kind of crazy. And we weren't even close to where I wanted to be. Get up on this roof here. Yep. Perfect. Hey. Excuse me? 
That's a first. Come on. Come on, leave me alone, zombies. I'm trying to get this mega bomb taken out. There we go. Perfect. Well, that was insanely quick. I don't know how we destroyed two faces so fast, but someone will be able to tell me in the comment section, and I'll be able to look, you know, after the fact as well. Didn't really get anything good. Sentry gun. Really didn't get anything too good. I need to get some plates before we do anything else, but that was kind of sick. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab this bounty. Hopefully we get another mega bomb. I'd like to see if we can do something similar before I go over to Legendary, you know? I'm kind of curious, you know, what happened with the Stormcaller. I feel like maybe they got a buff at some point, and we just didn't know. Sometimes I feel like it's easier than other times. Sometimes I feel like it's next to impossible. But it is always a difference of what weapons I'm possibly using, you know, at the time. What the hell? I can't see it. It's on my map, though. I got a ping. It's over here. It's a mimic. This could either be really good or really bad. I feel like I need some extra plates for this. This fight we're about to get in. Do I have a backup self? I have two backup selves. All right, that, that gives me a little bit of hope. The backup self-revives might be the savior. So, sounds crazy, I know, but... It's gonna be a little hectic here. Almost sure. Super zombies. Everybody's so fast. Awesome. I love that for us. And I can't jump right here? Nope. Oh, luckily I did. Is there a ladder on this building? Just kind of trying to get up on top of it. There's no ladder on this building. Oh, this is trap. This is chalked. Bro. Hellhounds. Holy crap. Get away from me. Good lord. The amount of stuff that is chasing me right now is unbelievable. It's an abnormal amount. I'm actually going to get away from the Mimic and come back in a second because I need plates before we get absolutely just choke slammed here. And everything is definitely chasing me. Like, a lot of stuff. I don't know what happened there or why. But it's all coming. Oh, that's not even the Mimic. That's not even our bounty. Dude, this is crazy. Oh, that's our bounty. Dude, when are you going to stop coming toward me? I think he ran back, finally. I literally wanted to get away from him on purpose. Alright. Got that in the perfect spot. We had, like, the absolute just horde chasing us. I'm just trying to get some freaking plates, man. Are they not coming up here? This thing is crazy up close. Definitely doing big damage. Like, what is going on here? I'm so confused. These zombies are just chilling. All right, we're going to go back over and see if I can't find my Mimic. I don't even know if I can find it. Oh, it's right here? Maybe I can get him back over here? I don't even know where he's supposed to be. Over here? Somewhere? Something like that? He's angry. I can tell you that. He's not happy that he's not over here. We are cooking them, though. We are doing some damage. That's the good news. Okay, we're gonna run this way. I can climb up the side of this. He's probably gonna shoot me with this thing. Yep, I knew it. It's fine, though. Gives me a chance to go like this. Go like this. This is kind of fun. I want to get him to come up here. Excuse me? <laughs> that was crazy. 
I tried to jump onto the railing, he grabbed me mid-air and was like, nah, dog. Think you can outsmart me? That was crazy. Alright. Should be able to 42 fake him there. I love how that attack just is so quick to hit. I don't even see him now, but now I do. There, dude, you can't do it. You cannot do a complete 180. Who programmed you? They need help. There's no way you lock on. Okay, we should be good here. Oh, he's gonna go all the way on the outside. He's there we go. Man, those guys are always a lot of fun. Two three bounties. They're just so fast. You, just, you have to keep running, keep running, keep running. Even get some of these plates now. From all of our adventures. Well, that was something. Pack 2 Blue was able to do it, though. And that's all that matters. So if you were Pack 2, or Pack 2, Pack 3 Blue. Why do I keep... I do this every time. We go through this fairly often. Pack 3 Blue. So if you were Pack 3 Purple, it would have been even easier than that. But now we're going to actually go Legendary here to finish out our run. I did a regular Mega Bomb. We did an actual Bounty. And now it's time to see what full power looks like. And I can actually probably take this Mega Bomb out over here. Since he's already so close. Let's see what we can do. See what we can do. I want to know how we destroyed two faces so quickly before. Got that. We got my one plate. We're good for that. Nice. Should be in a good spot here. One of his faces is already destroyed, and I did not destroy that. Well, at least I don't... I didn't remember seeing it. That's the part that's crazy. Yeah, go ahead and... Dodge for a sec, get our one plate in. These zombies are trolling me. Take a break. I actually want to focus on this Mega Bomb, but they, they make it so hard sometimes. He's going to try to hit me because he's not far enough away. Alright, that's good. Should we be able to... Oh. The Silent Disciple. We love those. Alright, we cooked him. We got him out of here. Wait, he healed my Mega Bomb. See, we proved it. He did do it. This punk. Bro, can I get more than one plate at a time? It's get, like, it's either I don't get ammo or I don't get plates. I would just like some plates. Like, more than one. Like, how did I get one plate out of that many zombies? You don't. You give me way more. Dude. What? This Mega Mom trolling me? He's like, I'm gonna keep spawning these disciples, bro. I'm gonna have full health for the rest of my life. You bet the rest of your life isn't very much longer, bud. All right, here we go. I can actually stand here and shoot him. Now we're looking good. Absolutely choke slammed. That's three disciples. They really wanted to keep that guy alive, huh? Well, we can confirm disciples are healing the mega bombs. The lovely feature. That is a very lovely feature. Let me know down in the comment section below if you did not know that. If you learned something new, 
with the disciple healing the mega bomb? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm very curious how many people already knew that previously to it actually happening to me not that long ago, a few videos back. Took us long enough to actually confirm that that was what was going on, but we did. All right, saw it this time. We got a mega abomination. Mega abomination bounty. Where, where is this one? Oh, that one's the like out in the open. We'll see how it goes. It is, it is always fun trying to f manipulate a mega bomb into a spot where you can actually be super close range and not have to be getting slammed by everything in your path in order to fight it like that. Bro. Like, it, there was no audio for that hellhound. It just started hitting me in the back. Silly. Just silly. Oh, this one should be super easy. Not like just easy to eliminate, but easy to get into a spot, because... The zombies are kind of already in the spot. I want them to be in. Oh, he's already moving like the wind, too. Bro. Yo, stop giving them free melees. Hey, 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 what the hell is that? I'm not even trying to hit him right now. I'm trying to hit the zombies. But it worked out. You don't even... Range almost doesn't even matter. Look at this. Okay, I got another plate. He's just chilling. Okay, now the zombies are coming up. Nice, this is what I needed. I just need you guys to make sure you drop plates for me. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Throw that over there. Oh, yep. Go ahead and stand right in front of them. Okay, he should actually get close enough. The hell hit me the first time. Was it him? Okay, we should be able to just slam him. Goodbye. This might be one of the easiest Mega Abomination weapons I've used. And it doesn't run out of ammo quite as often as, let's say, like the weapon, you know, the Akimbo WSP Stingers. I don't have plates again? Can we, like, donate some plates to me? Please, game? Like, I feel like I've been out of plates the whole entire game. Alright, cool. Oh, there's a plate. We found one. Let's go! We got a single plate. We actually have a ton. We're sitting on a ton of essence right now. Alright, we got... We know the Mega Bomb will spawn here. And I know exactly how to cheese this. I need to get some plates real quick. Hopefully. Trick is, get plates, but don't use them. Or get them to drop, at least, and don't use them. Even if you're, like, down to nothing. Oh. Disciple just popped up. Get rid of that guy pretty quick here. So I think the range does kind of matter, but it was kind of nuts how much damage we did to that Mega Bomb without actually being all up in its grill like you would figure you would need to be. Now, I was actually going to hang out here and see if another Mega Bomb spawned in, but I don't think it's going to. I think when the... I think when the, the gas starts to expand, it tends to just not allow them to spawn back in. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to do it anymore, but I do want to revisit this weapon in the future with the MAGA holding. So if you guys are excited or would like to see me do that, please let me know down in the comment section below. But otherwise, we are going to head over to the Xville here. We had a successful run across the board. I did struggle with plates from time to time. Sometimes I wish gold having a golden plate was something that I did more often. But at the same time, I want this experience to be as close to the regular person's experience as possible. And I don't think most of us are spawning in with that golden armor plate like literally every match. So we're probably not going to be doing that maybe from time to time or when I'm planning on going to the Dark Aether. Maybe I'll bring that in as a little bit of support. 
But outside of that, I feel like, you know, it doesn't really make any sense. Well, we finally made it over to the extract here. I definitely think this is one of those those aftermarket part or conversion kits you should definitely try out, especially if you're a big fan of SMGs. I'm surprised we waited this long to check it out, but I'm definitely glad we spent the time to do it. That's going to wrap things up for us here. We did find success across the board. Thank you guys all for the support in today's video. I'll support the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.